here. I'm doing my very first Oracle EPM video for you today. Um, and today we're going to go over the new data integration pipeline feature that just came out in June of 2023 in the patch set update for Oracle EPM data integration. Um, so first I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the data exchange, which is where this feature lives. Um, and yes, I am keeping the non <laughs> Redwood theme as long as possible. So um, once I get to the data integration piece under data exchange, you can see that I've got a few things here in my dashboard. Um, I have a regular data integration, which is something that I am going to be running in my pipeline today. Um, and you can see in this type piece, the icon shows that it's an end-to-end -end integration, whereas my pipeline has a different icon that shows that there's uh, a lot more to it. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the configuration for that pipeline today. So I'm going to go ahead and click in. And here I've got a very simple pipeline and I could have made it even simpler, but for the sake of the demo today, I've created two different stages of my pipeline. So if I go ahead and click into this interface here, I'm able to see my very first stage, which I am in this uh, instance, I'm going to be loading data and running a calc script. And so my first stage, I have um, one job called load product info for Kate's Candy. Um, and this is actually pulling that integration we saw on the prior screen. So I was able to set up this uh, integration. So I pulled in the, the integration as the type. Um, and then I was able to pull the or name it and then the title of it. So I could make this a little prettier looking by calling it, you know, load product. And it will change over in my graphical interface to be a little bit easier to read. And then we've got our different import and export modes, start and end periods, and the file name. So these, again, if, for, if you're familiar with the data integrations, these are common um, inputs into the data integration. Um, and the other cool thing about this is these can also be variableized. So there are variables of, available within the pipeline. So if you would like to you know, specify a default import mode for everything within your pipeline, you can do that here. I'm going to leave these as default for, for me today. Um, and then we'll move into our second stage. So my second stage here is called Calculate Margin and Sales. So this is running my calculation. Um, and so you can see here I've got my, my job type for this one is a business rule. And so this is a business rule that I wrote to calculate my margin and sales in one step. Um, if I had any um, parameters, I could add them in here. I don't need any for this business rule. If I had subsequent business rules that I wanted to run, um, I can add them as well to this stage. So if I wanted to run an additional business rule, I could come in here and pick that out um, and add it as a subsequent stage if I'd like, but not today. So I'm going to go ahead and it's just so simple. Um, this user interface is very user friendly and I can go ahead and just delete that out of my stage and then I'm ready to go. So this is all I need. It will tell you up in the right hand corner that it is saved and ready to go. So you are able to run directly from this interface or we can run from the prior screen. So I'm going to do a follow up video showing the, um, the beginning and end of running the pipeline end to end. So stay tuned. Thanks.